Just letting you know, this is only my spoiler first impressions of the episode. Check my pinned comment for a free gift related to this video. And to watch my unfiltered reactions with exclusive bonuses, join my Asha Media TV club. The link is in the description box below. Now, here's my afterthoughts of this episode of Supernatural. Okay, well, that episode, um, what's the episode from which season? I I can't, my mind is jumbled right now. It's there on the screen because I know myself. I'll go look for it and put it up there on there for you. Where we see the first glimpse of a Dean as a demon. Where he battles himself. That's a pretty epic ending, though. I know some of you think, you know, the ending of season eight is just, you know, it's extraordinary. And it is. It's, it's very extraordinary. This is a good one. This is a good one. And perhaps I guess it was predictable if I was paying more attention to the clues with Kane. But it's nicely done nonetheless. And then having that monologue from Crowley. Oh, wow. So season 10 is going to be Dean as a demon. I think at some point, I can't remember which episode it was, and for some of you with really good memories, um, maybe you can remind me because I ain't looking to find it. Uh, there was a point where I had said, maybe it wasn't season one, could have been season one or two, but I know it was in the earlier seasons, where I, I went on a ramble about, with this show having 15 seasons... It would be pretty interesting if one or two, or maybe all, no, no, but one or two seasons is dedicated to very separate storylines between uh, Sam and Dean. And I have said at times, you know, I would like to see that just to kind of change things up a bit and also create some more character growth independent of each other. And this probably could be the case for season 10. Because I don't know. And well, then again. Then again, then again, then again. They have been putting here and there in many episodes from the very beginning the concept of accepting or giving the benefit of the doubt to the supernatural that have good intentions or that are the, basically you know the whole the whole argument of the supernatural not all supernatural creatures are evil. So that's something else that I could see them playing with in season 10. Where Dean will, will maybe be a demon, but he's going to fight to be human again. And, or maybe not be human again, but, uh, what am I trying to say here? Sam and Castell or and Sam and, and the whole gang, they're, they're, they'll maybe have to give the benefit of the doubt to, de uh, to demon, to demon Dean. <laughs> I'm going to call him that now. To demon Dean in order to coexist. <sighs> I don't know. And I know I could go on to so many different, there's so many different ways you could look at it. And I, I, I'm, I'm not going to go on a tirade. I'm trying to cut that shit out. <laughs> I think I've given enough tirades as it is. All right. Scene wise, scene wise. Oh boy. Because now it's a scene that I'm, well, there's not much really. Because it's the end of the season and the only scene that just gives you some idea of what's possible to come is the end. You know, Dean's a demon, Crowley's there, and now it's Crowley's gonna shepherd <laughs> Dean into demonhood. Hmm. So that's essentially my scene. Let's now focus on my Ash emoji for this episode. Considering Marv slash Jesus, and I really enjoyed what they did with Gedri uh, Ged Gedriel. I thought that was very well done because the setup for that whole thing with the self-sacrifice and what that energy does when they do that was uh, perfectly laid out. And so for him to take that into his own hands to free Castiel, I really enjoyed that. I can't think of anything else that really bothers me aside from the confusion that's there when it comes to Metatron and how much control did he have with the story unfolding versus what did it what he didn't control 
Aside from that, which is my own thing, aside from that, this episode deserves a five. It's it's really good. A lot of rewatchable moments. A lot of rewatchable moments. Especially now that I know Dean becomes a demon, it's it's going to be interesting at times when I replay the episode to see some of the patterns of those clues that led up to that revelation. But of course, you know, I like it when you break it down for me. So you're more than welcome to do the to do that in the comment section. <laughs> so there you have it, everyone. Season nine, it's a wrap. Share your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this episode. What are parts you liked or maybe didn't like? How perhaps you would have liked it to end if you don't like the ending, you know? Because I'm sure there's at least one or two of you that may not have been on board with Dean suddenly becoming a demon. So, you know, break it down to me why without uh, spoiling anything for season 10 if you can. If you don't want to, that's okay. That's okay. But if you want access to my full reaction to this episode, uncut, unfiltered, with extra bonuses I share exclusively for members, especially my reactions to some of the bonus stuff related to this season, it's all there for you to watch, as well as a lot of other stuff that I've reacted to that I haven't posted on YouTube. Details about joining my club for all of that is in the description box below. So, I am tuning out, peacing out, goodbye! Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos.